In this video, we're going to show you how to service your PCV components on both the six and eight cylinder engine. In order to service these components, you will need to remove the intake manifold and the lower oil pan only on the eight cylinder models. For additional assistance with these tasks, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. The crankcase breather valve six cylinder engine the intake manifold removed from the engine, turn it to face the crankcase breather valve. Squeeze the locking tabs on the large hose that was connected to the valve cover and remove the hose from the crankcase breather valve. On the outside of the manifold, remove the three 10 mm fasteners that will hold the crankcase breather valve to the mounting bracket on the intake manifold. The two lower fasteners have already been removed in this picture. Pull the crankcase breather valve out of the intake manifold by pulling it in the direction of the blue arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. On the 8 cylinder engines, if your tailpipe is smoking a lot, you can remove the clip and push the pipe, green arrow, and move it forward in the direction of the blue arrow. Plug the hole on the PCV valve plate and start the engine. See if the blue smoke goes away after a while. If it does, you have a clogged oil separator valve. Starting at the back of the intake manifold, remove the 7T27 torque fasteners, green arrows, that hold the back plate onto the intake manifold. In our case, someone has replaced some of the mounting fasteners with 10 millimeter fasteners, yellow arrows. Remove the plate from the back of the intake manifold. Use a pick to remove the PCV plate gasket from the groove in the intake manifold. If you are only replacing the PCV plate gasket and not the PCV valve itself, then use a pick to pry off the O-ring that the tube slips over and replace it. This photo illustrates the driver's side cylinder head under the intake manifold. Remove the crankcase breather tube, green arrow, from under the intake manifold by moving it in the direction of the blue arrow. Use a pick to remove the o-ring inside the front of the tube and replace it. On the 8-cylinder engine, this image shows the location of the oil separator valve, green arrow, behind the driver's side engine timing cover. To replace this part, you need to remove the timing covers and the timing chain guide. You do not have to remove the cover to perform this repair. We are just giving you component location. You can try to blow the oil separator valve clear by blowing compressed air up the drain tube. To access this drain tube, you need to remove the lower oil pan. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. With the lower oil pan removed, locate the oil drain tube, green arrow. If you have an air compressor, use a blow tip to blow the compressed air up the tube until air flows easily. This should dislodge the sludge blocking the oil separator. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.